Hello, this is Luigi Vampa from Vampa's Minecraft server, and today I'm going to be having a look at the chest bank plugin for Minecraft. Uh, what a chest bank plugin is, is a way of linking chests. So, whatever you put in one chest, if it's part of the chest bank network, you'll be able to access through um, one of the other chests. So, uh, as always, go to the DevBucket website, devbucket.org, type chest bank into the search bar. And then it should appear in the search listings. El Bristo, the author of this one. Uh, last update was March the 21st, so it's all good for 125. Uh, go to the links on the right, version 1.5 is the latest. Download the jar. Um, stick it in the plugins folder. And then, as per usual, run the server, and that will go and generate all the config files. Now while that's doing that, we'll just have a look at some of the plugins, uh, some of the permissions that are available for this. Permissions. I've added a few to my permissions uh, config already, so I'll just go through the ones that are on the page here. Uh, Chessbank All uh, gives all access to Chessbank permissions. Chessbank Use. Chessbank Use on its own will give you access to the default network. Chessbank Use. Uh, with the wildcard will allow you access to all the networks and then you can have chess banks use and the networks network name which will give you access to only certain chests that are there I'll go through what the networks are in a minute when we have a look at it uh, chess bank info tells you details of a chess bank chess bank list uh, gives you a list of the networks chess bank create now as with the use Chessbank Create on its own will allow you to create the default Chessbank. Chessbank Create with a wildcard allows you to create all Chessbank. And then again you can have it so they can only explicitly connect to a single network with Chessbank Create Networks network name. And then again there's a Chessbank Remove, Chessbank Remove with a wildcard, and Chessbank Remove with a network. Chessbank C is a permission that will allow you to look at another player's inventory within the chess. Limiting permissions that allows you to restrict how many slots within a chess they use. You can plug it into an economy where um, you can charge people for using the chess banks. And then a whitelist which allows you to limit what they can actually put in the chess bank. Nothing too complicated there. It's a really nice little plug in this. Quite handy little tool. Well, that should have generated all the files I need. I think the config for this is really quite short. Where are we? Chess bank. Open that up. Yeah, the limits here uh, normal limit, elevated limit, and VIP limit. These are the amount of slots that a player will have if you assign them this permission. So if in the config, sorry, in your permissions config, you give them the chess bank limited normal permission, then they will only be able to use 10 slots within the chess bank. Well, that's enough of all that governing. Let's go and have a look. We'll just log in. Or maybe not. It's a bit slow today. There we go, still running the game of chess. I'll do a tutorial for this at some point. Chesscraft. Best plugin there is by far. Just built myself a new board. Made myself all these new pieces. Yeah, really like that. Bit beside the point though. Right, chest banks. First thing you need, not surprisingly, is a chest. Look at the chest so that part of it is highlighted. Type CB create. That will then go and create a chest bank. You can see here where my name is at the top of it. Um, if somebody else looks in this chest, they won't see what I've put in there. They'll only see what they themselves have put in there. 
So if I put a bucket of lava and some raw beef, and then we'll go upstairs and we'll create another chest bank here. Then the bucket of lava and the raw beef that was downstairs will be in that chest. Now they haven't done it with just CB create. That is the default uh, network. So if they had chest bank use uh, as a permission, then they would only be able to access this chest. Now as for the networks themselves, if I don't know what, if I go to the mine, I place a chest here. Type CB create mine, and then what I have is a mine network. So if I just chuck some diamond ore in here, go back home, create another chest. on the mine network then the ore that I placed in it within the mine is available here within uh, my home um, you can create several networks it's not really a problem I'll do another one in the farm it's all a bit laggy today yes yeah, so I've got this little farm area here not much grain in here. And then I'll do CB create farm. So I've just picked up some melons. And if I head back down to mine, create a farm chest there, then that should give me all the food I've just stocked up on the farm. We are melons. So I can fill that chest up at the farm with the food there, come down into the mine, and uh, fill that up with the ores there, and then go back home and it's all good. Yeah, so um, with the permissions, if I've got just the use one, I can only access this chest. If I give them the permission uh, CB, uh, chest bank use farm they can open the farm chests if i give them chest bank create farm they can create chests on the farm network and so on uh, some of the other commands that go with it cb info uh while you're looking at a chest will give you information about that chest cbc will oh yeah you have to add the player's name. CBC Luigi Vampa, as you're looking at the chest, tells you what I've got in the chest. And the there's another one, CB List, which gives you the networks that are available. And the only other one is CB Remove. Because as it stands, there's indestructible. So you type CB removed, and then it just reverts it back to being a normal chest. Word of warning though, if you are down to the last chest on a network, see as I've removed this one, if I go downstairs now, and find where I put the other freaking chest. There it is. Now that I have the lava and the beef in there, if I do CB remove on this chest now, I will lose that uh, lava and beef. So be careful when removing them, because when you're down to the last one, you're going to have to empty it first. And that's it, pretty much. That is uh, the chest bank plugin. Now, I'd like to say I'm going to do something productive. I think I'm going to have a game of chess. So, um, have a nice day, people. See you later.